Hey, you guys, total body strength workout. For today's workout is for all levels. So if you're a beginner, you can do this workout. If you're not a beginner, you'll still be challenged. You can use weights or you don't have to, the weights make it more challenging. I show modifications for all the exercises that we're doing. It's around 12 to 15 minutes long for the workout. I recommend that you go through it twice if you really wanna get a burn and not like me after the workout. But if you're a beginner, just go through it one time and I'll be proud of you either way advance or beginner just know that i'm proud of you already all right um always like share subscribe the ch um the video the channel the video and let me know how you feel after the workout i'm on instagram i'm on facebook and i'm on tiktok as well i'm posting our inspirational monday tomorrow and then our pilates video will be prepared on wednesday so wednesday you'll have another video here on youtube to work out to I'm very excited because I enjoy Pilates a lot. So every week I'm just going to be adding on to it different things that we'll be doing and working. And for Pilates, I'm not using any equipment. So if you don't have anything, this is going to be the perfect workout for you and um, you really enjoy it. Have a great week. Hope you enjoy the workout and I will talk to you guys soon. Mm. All right, let's jump into our workout. I'm showing you right now the modification. This is a basic squat. Turn to the side, all the way my heels, dropping down, squeezing right back up. Notice that my knees are not going over my toes. Feet are a little, a little bit wide in my hips. We're gonna go down three, two, one, squeeze it up. Do that 10 times. Great job, come on up. I want you to grab a heavy weight if you have it. I'm gonna place my weight behind my head, on my shoulders. If you wanna modify this, I want you to wait to come right beside you. I'm gonna squat it back, and then squeeze it right back up. Just regular squats. The heavier the weight, the more challenging it is. Good job, you guys have seven more, keep going. Last two, last one. Now we're gonna come down and hold it for 10 seconds. Let's hold it here. Get as low as you can, hold those abs in. You can do it, work those legs. Five seconds, four, three, two, come all the way up. Great job, place that weight down. Don't place that weight down. Our next exercise is gonna be a single leg deadlift. So watching me, I'm showing the modification, going down, squeeze your glutes when you come up. You wanna have soft knees, as you're reaching forward that weight and coming back up. Now, if you don't have a weight, watch what I'm doing. I'm reaching my fingertips long, hands are shoulder width apart, straight back. Right here again, single leg. Lost my balance there. Let me do it one more time, down, and lift right back up. Very hesitant there, doing it again, and lifting all the way up. That's what we're doing, but we're gonna add a weight to it if we have it. Don't feel weird if you're slipping around, falling around in your living room with me, I'm doing it too. We're gonna do 10 repetitions on each leg. I'm gonna do that again, that wasn't good. Going down, squeeze your glutes to come back up. That was better. Find a focal point, that's what I had to do. I had to find something on the floor to look at and keep my eyes focused on that. That's why I didn't look at you all that much while I was doing this. You guys keep going. Last two, you guys are doing awesome, keep it moving. Last one, good job. We have to do the same on the other side, switch legs. I'm like, oh my gosh, now you guys see how wobbly I am on this side. Plant that heel, soften that knee. Make sure you guys can see me well, going down, and then come right back up. I'm always hesitant the first time. 
down now I get more confident there it is and lift right back up see me smiling right there go down again you can do it squeeze your glutes coming up holding in your core helps keep your balance this is really good for us we need to do this more often go down and lift right back up we are halfway now Last one, go down, reach that leg high, and then squeeze it back up. Great job, you guys. Now you can switch out your weights with me if you want to. If you don't have it, like I said, I'm gonna show you the modification without the weight first. A side lunge, going down and lifting right back up, side lunge. To make it more challenging, you can grab onto a weight, side lunge with the weight, and then come right back up, kicking that heel up. Now I'm going to change this up when we go into our exercise. You're gonna see me tap my foot in towards that standing leg and then kick the heel up. So watching me, we have 10 on each side. Go down, tap in, and then squeeze the heel up. Go down, and then tap the heel up. You have eight more. Last one. Great job, we're going to do the same on the other side. My hip was really feeling it. Hold that weight just like so. And when you're ready, step to the side, tap the foot in, and then squeeze the hip up. Lower that heel, and then tap that heel up. Eight more. Last one, make it your best one. Good job, you guys. Now we're going down to the floor. You wanna have your weights near you. We're going to do some plank rows. I'm showing show you the modification. On your knees, you can have it where the weight's right beside you, squeezing it up. This is challenging. If that's too much, I want you just to hold a regular plank, just like me. Have your fingertips reaching, if you wanna add on the movement. I'm gonna come up on my toes and I'm going to be in a wide stance. Gives me great support, squeezing in my abs, helping my back. Going to do five repetitions. Five, four, three, good job. Two, you can do it. One, now don't come down on your knees. Just roll that weight over. There we go, pull it right back up. Three more, two more, last one. Great job. Place that weight down. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm not gonna just fall on down. I'm gonna have my knees come down, going into some negative push-ups. Squeeze the heels and knees together, going down slow, and then come right back up. Going down for three repetitions. If you wanna make it more challenging, come on your toes, do the same thing. We can do it. We're gonna do five this way, and we're gonna switch it up the last half. Going down three, two, one, push up. Three, two, one, you're doing awesome. Three, two, one, squeeze that chest. Three, two, one, squeeze your abs, and three, two, one, all the way up. Great job, now we're switching it up. Watch me, I'm gonna drop really fast. Drop fast, slowly come back up. Come on, you can do it. Drop it fast, and then lift right back up. Taking your time, yes, good job. I know it burns, you're doing great. Keep on going. Great job, almost there. Last one, good job. Take a quick breath right here. Very good, you guys. Coming all the way up now. We're gonna to transition to our next exercise. 
going to lay down on our back for a shoulder bridge with a diagonal tricep extension. So I'm going to angle myself so you guys can see how my arms are positioned. We have 20 repetitions of these tricep extensions. You hold the bridge the entire time, squeezing in your abs, squeeze your glutes. Now your palms start off facing each other, but watch what I'm gonna do. I'm turning to the side so you can see it well. I'm gonna turn my palms, show you the modification first. Turn my palms facing towards my knees, and then I'm gonna have my fingertips going towards each other. So your fists are like trying to connect, and then you separate them out. Let's do 20, going down, squeeze those triceps going up, down, Good job. So the key is having your palms facing your knees and it's like you're trying to have your knuckles come to the center of your heart line and you're squeezing it right back up. You guys are doing awesome. Keep going. And squeeze those glutes up at the same time. Don't ever drop your hips. Last two, keep it going. Last one, squeeze it up. Great job. Rest your hips down, put those weights down. Very good, you guys. So now we're gonna work the opposite muscle group. That was the posterior. We gotta work that interior, working that bicep now. Show you the modification. So this is not the modification, but this is the modification where you stack your feet, this bicep curling up and down. But if you want to make it more challenging, tabletop those knees up in the air and squeeze it up with me. We had 20 repetitions. That's four in. Now we have only 15 more to go now. Woo, look at those legs going up. Yeah, guys. Yeah, let's go. Last two, and your last one. Awesome work, you guys. That is finished. For our next two exercises, you will not need any weights. So you can just place those weights to the side. I'm gonna show you the modification first. Have your legs long. We're doing ab circles where you're just circling your torso around, making a bowl of your belly. Another modification right here, you can have your knees up, table topping those legs just like me. To make it more challenging, extend those legs out to a hollow body right here. Scoop around. This burns. Give me eight more. We're going both directions. You guys, keep it moving. I know you can feel it. I feel it with you. You see my face is scrunching up with you. Ooh, and I lowered those legs more. What was I thinking? Now, if you feel this in your back, go to the modification. Reverse directions now. I want you to place your feet down if you feel anything in your back. You should not feel it there. Great job, you guys. Keep on going. Pull those abs in. Exhale when you come up. Let all the air out of your belly. You can do it. Don't stop. And you rest now. Good job. You guys can grab a sip of water. Take a breather. We only have one more exercise to go. You see, I'm taking a break right now myself. When you're ready, you're going to flip on over with me. We're going into our low plank. It will only last 30 seconds. It won't be that long. Coming down to your forearms. Let me grab my timer. I'm going to show you guys the modification, of course, first. On your knees, you're like right here with me. And now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise one heel up and another heel up towards the ceiling, pulling in my abs. So you can even make it more challenging in your modification by alternating your knees off the mat. Now, if you're not doing that, you're going to alternate your feet up and down with me, and then we're going to walk it out wide. Let's get ready to start right now, 30 seconds. I'm going to start watching my feet up and down, pulling in my abs. You want to make sure that your eyes are looking at your fists. Don't have your eyes looking at those pretty feet. Keep on going. We're about to take it out now, out wide in just a second. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm widening my feet up. Yes, yeah, you can. And bring it back. 10 more seconds. Wide and walk it back in. Come on. Almost there. I know you feel it. I'm burning too. Last two. Come on. And done. Awesome job. Remember, you need to stretch out after this workout to make it more challenging, do another round of it. I just did one, and that was good for me. YALA stands for you are loved always. Know that, believe that. I appreciate you. You are valuable. I look forward to seeing you guys for Inspirational Monday tomorrow. Have an amazing week. Bye, you guys.